biggest issue is its credibility, quite frankly, and the credibility of the competition, whether it's honest or not, whether it's clean or not. And this is an enormous challenge that's uh, manifesting itself over the last uh, five years, really into a grave situation, I think, for sport generally, and for football particularly, I think. Uh, so what the, uh, the sport organisations themselves need to do is to find a way in which they can restore the confidence of the fan, the confidence of those who are perhaps a bit disenfranchised by what they're reading and seeing, and, uh, and return their absolute confidence in the authenticity of competition. What's really happened is over the last uh, 10 years, uh, gambling has changed enormously worldwide. So you've now got uh, international gambling taking place, particularly in the Southeast Asia, but with the gamblers coming from around the world, using the internet, uh, SMS and other forms of communication to, to bet on games anywhere in the world, any time in the world. Massive amounts of money involved. Of course, organised crime thinks this is fantastic and they're finding ways to manipulate sport to, in fact, commit betting fraud. Betting fraud is, in fact, the, the main uh, concern here. It's from betting fraud, the match fixing, modern match fixing is actually born. It's a bastard child, really, and that bastard child has been adopted by organised crime very aggressively.